In the last video, you attached the rods to the power supply. In this video, you will add the aluminium plates and the motor. You'll find the little screws for the motor pulley in the Ziploc bag of your electronics box. Put them into the pulley. Mount the motor pulley to the motor shaft. The screw should be facing the motor and the side of the pulley should be flush with the end of the motor shaft. Make sure the motor connector points downwards. Mount the motor with the three M3 times 10 screws to the motor holder. Tighten them well, but don't overdo it. Attach the front plate to the rods. Put the round nuts onto the rods. Make sure that there is about 2cm of space on both sides of the power supply holder. Hold the rod with your hand and tighten the nut until you can turn it no further. Tighten the round nuts until the nuts in the plastic part behind the front plate are fully fixed. Tighten the nuts of the power supply holder from both sides until they are fully fixed. Make sure that the power supply holder remains in a straight position. Put a spring washer, a washer and the motor unit onto the M10 rod. Mount the rear left foot onto the left hand rod. Place two linear bearings on the right hand rod and one linear bearing on the left hand rod. Slide the two linear rods into the top holes of the rear plate. Insert the other end into the hole of the front plate. Mount the rear plate with the rounded nuts. Tighten them in balance with the M10 nuts and make sure that the rear plate is straight. Adjust if necessary. See if you can make the Y unit in such a way that it won't wobble on the table. This is what you have now. It's starting to take shape. In the next video, you will make the Y carriage and attach the timing belt.